Hi, I'm Casey Henry, and welcome to The Murphy Method. The song that we're going to take up for today is You Are My Sunshine. This is an intermediate arrangement of the song. It also makes a super um, beginning song. You can just pick it up almost one note at a time. But this is going to be a more intermediate version. It's in G, so your banjo is just going to be in standard tuning. I'll play through what we're going to learn up to tempo. I'll slow it down, and then we'll break it apart a phrase at a time. So here we go with You Are My Sunshine. Okay, now here it is slower. So we're going to break this apart <laughs> into four phrases. Our first phrase is going to be this much. So we've got pick up notes on the front here. This is open four, open three, and then second fret on three. They're going to lead us to our <coughs> first lick, which is... So, middle finger sliding on third string from second fret up to the fourth fret. You're going to pick that with your thumb and then roll two, one, five, and then pinch one and two. You're, you pick both of those, or you pick a middle finger, index finger, so both fingers are plucking up on that one, two pinch. So it'll be... And then we have another roll, five, two, one, five, plus another one, two pinch on the end. So forward roll plus the pinch. To put those two licks together. And then we're going to do this. This is a third fret on the third note, just by itself. That's an eighth note. And then another one, two pinch. So we've got three one, two pinches kind of in consecutive licks here. So it'll be. And then our last lick in this phrase. Slide this time on the fourth string <laughs> from the second fret all the way up to the fifth fret. And then roll. Three, one, five. And then we're going to pinch three and one. Again, that's with index and middle both picking up right there. So that comes after the slide. So that's our last lick. There is a fill and roll after the lick. <coughs> On the open strings, five, three, one, five, three, one. I think when I played it through earlier, I just stopped on the fifth string, but it is two complete forward rolls. Five, three, one, five, three, one. So the lick with the fill in after it. And that is the end of the first phrase. So let's back up to the pickup notes and play what we've got so far. That leaves us set up for the second phrase, which is going to sound like this. So we we are leading into the C with this first leg. So it's a slide two to three on the third string, and then roll two one five. Then we land in the C. 
all three of these notes are eighth notes. <coughs> You're going to put your C chord down, which is index finger, first fret of second, ring finger, second fret of first. You don't have to put your middle finger down. If you're used to putting it down in your C chord and it just goes down by itself, that's fine. It'll go on the second fret of the fourth string. I sometimes don't put it down because we're not playing the fourth string in this particular C chord. But you definitely have to have index and ring finger down. So you're going to play that second string, then play a fifth, and then you're going to lift up your ring finger and hammer down onto that second fret of the first right there. So it'll be... And then there's a forward roll that follows. Five, two, one, five. So with the lick before it, it'll sound like. And then we have this. So we're walking down. These are all melody notes. They're all eighth notes. Second fret of first, open first, first fret of second, open second. And then on the open strings here, we've got fill and roll. Five, two, one, five, two, one, five. So two complete forward rolls starting and ending on the fifth. Okay, so let's put this phrase together from the beginning. Okay, now let's back up to the top and put these first two phrases together. Here we go. here is going to use a lot of what we already used in the second phrase. Here's what it sounds like. So we've got, we're using the same roll to get us into the C, but this time it's got notes in front of it. Two, three, one. So that's what you start with. Start with the open two, three, one, then play your slide with the forward roll to get you into the C. This is all repeat. Okay, here is where it starts being different. So here we have second string, then a fifth string, and then an open third. So we're kind of just taking it a little further than we did in the second phrase. So that last piece. Adding on the fifth and the third. And this time, the fill and roll that follows those. Five, three, one, three. Coming back to the third string playing both of those open thirds with your index finger. Okay, so let's try putting together this third phrase. and add this on to our first two phrases. Here we go.
Okay, our fourth and last phrase is going to sound like this. So we're borrowing a little bit from our very first phrase. We keep the pickup notes. And we keep the first lick the same. Ending with that one, two pinch right there. So that's what we repeat from the first phrase. Here's where it's different. So you're going to fret the, <coughs> excuse me, first fret of the second string. You play that note by itself. It's an eighth note. Keep that finger down on the first fret of the second. Add your middle finger on the second fret of the third. This is a little D7 chord. With this down, we're going to roll. This is 315, 315, and you got to use your index finger to pick those third strings. Now, there are actually two more notes we're going to add onto this roll. They are open two and one. So I, I don't lift my whole hand up yet because the chord, the song chord has not changed back to G yet. It's still in D. I just lift up my index finger, but keep my middle finger down for these last two notes. So it's an open 2-1 on the end of the 3-1-5, 3-1-5. note is an open third string right there. That is where the melody can, that's where the song chord changes back to G. And that's the spot where I take off my left hand entirely. Okay, so let's put <coughs> this together from the beginning of the phrase up to here. Here on the end, we have a tag lick. You probably already know this tag lick, but just in case, I'm going to go ahead and explain it. Starts on a fifth string. Then, middle finger slides two to three on the third string. This is picked with the index finger of your right hand. Play an open first string after that slide. Then, come back and play an open third with your index. Second fret on the fourth with your thumb. So let's add that on. Last two notes. Open one, open three. That's the end of the lick. And the end of the phrase. And the end of the song. So let's put this fourth, fourth phrase together from the pickup notes. If you don't know the tag lick, it's a really hard lick and will probably take you a significant amount of time, probably a couple weeks to a month, to get it down if, it, if this is the first place that you have uh, ever run into it. Um, if you know it, then you can just stick it right on the end and you shouldn't have any problem. Okay, so that's our whole break for You Are My Sunshine. Let's go back to the beginning and put it all together. Here we go. to repeat it, you just go right back to the top and play the pickup notes over again and it fits very nicely into each other. So ending with the tag leg. That'll take you right back to the beginning. 
So there you have it. That is You Are My Sunshine.